Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. For sacred feast, in which you partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory, which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, forth the beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery the baptism of the Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, 
the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise, Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, who ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. With the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, o God the Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is striving and incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works 
in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday, the 34th week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock that saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my words. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Forty years I endured that generation, I said. They are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Please be seated. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your mind. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown in your people's flee? We have fed them with tears for their bread, and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the tons of our neighbors, our enemies love us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought the vine out of Egypt, to plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground, it took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is blocked by all the pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. 
give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation, and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let us be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise the song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule in Joseph, when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, that the waters of Meribah tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel, I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Some men rushed into the upper chamber of Daniel's home and found him praying and pleading before God. Then they went to remind the king about the provision. Did you not decree, O king, that no one is to address a petition to God or man for thirty days except to you, O king? Otherwise, he shall be cast into the den of lions. The king answered them, The decree is absolute, irrevocable, under the Medi and Persian law. To this they replied, Daniel, the Jewish exile, has paid no attention to you, O king, or to the decree you issued. Three times a day he offers his prayer. The king was deeply grieved at this news, and he made up his mind to save David, to save Daniel. He worked till sunset to rescue him. But these men insisted. They said, Keep in mind, O king, that under the Medi and Persian law, every royal provision 
or decree is irrevocable. So the king ordered Daniel to be brought out and cast into the lion's den. Daniel, he said, may your God, whom you serve so constantly, save you. To forestall any tampering, the king sealed with his own ring and the rings of the lords the stone that had been brought to block the opening of a den. Then the king returned to his palace for the night. He refused to eat and to dismiss the entertainers. Since sleep was impossible for him, the king rose very early in the morning and hastened to the lion's den. And he drew near. He cried out to Daniel sorrowfully, O Daniel, servant of the living God, has the God whom you serve so constantly been able to save you from the lions? Daniel answered the king, O king, live forever. May God has sent his angel and close the lion's mouth so that they have not hurt me. For I have been found innocent before him. Neither to you I have done any harm, O king. This gave the king great joy. At his order, Daniel was removed from the den and hurt because he was she trusted in the Lord. The king then ordered the men who accused Daniel, along with their children and their wives, to be cast into the lion's den. Before they reached the bottom of a den, the lions overpowered them and crushed them, all their bones. Then King Darius wrote to the nations and the peoples of every language, whoever they dwell on the earth, all peace to you. I decree that throughout my royal domain, the God of Daniel is to be reverenced and feared, for he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall never be without end. He is the deliverer and savior, working signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. And he delivered Daniel from the lion's power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Through the rain, dew and rain, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt and above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. direct and raise your hands because your redemption is at hand.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon these people. They will fall by the edge of the sword, and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There, there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the, of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyo at welcome po sa Minor Basilica ng ating mahal na ina, ng Our Lady of Manawa. Nasubukan niyo na bang tumingin sa isang taong yung malapit ng mamatay? Yun bang alam mo, moments or days from now, mawawala na? Natry niyo na yon O di kaya naranasan niyo na ba? Dito mo makikita sa isang tao yung tinatawag natin na pangamba. Takot. Uncertainties. Dito mo makikita na kahit gaano ka pala kahanda sa buhay, meron pa rin yung tinatawag natin na nangangamba ka. Natatakot ka pa rin. Siyang halimbawa nito, kahit ako nga nung bagong orday na pare, few years back bang ordain at meron tayong paniniwala meron mga paniniwala yan eh na kapag ka bang ordain ka daw kapag ka namatay ka diretso sa langit kaya sabi ko sarili ko kung mamatay man ako ngayon okay lang no? kasi bang ordain ka so diretso ka sa langit hopefully no? nung pauwi na ako sa amin sa Dabao pauwi na eroplano ay eh medyo matagtag yung eroplano. No? Magalaw. Yung air pocket. Kaya habang nasa eroplano ako, sabi ko kay Lord, kahit tanda akong mamatay, huwag naman sa ganitong paraan. Imagine mo, sasabog ka dun sa taas o kung saan man. Ang hirap ma-recover nun. At marami pa yan. One time, may uncle ako na may sakit sa atay. Mahilig kasi yon sa ano eh. Mahilig sa tanduay. So, mahilig uminom. So, the last moments of his, of his life, eh, yung uncle ko na yun, kapag ka nalalasing kasi yon ako lang ang pinapakinggan. No? So, natatawa ako kapag ka nandun ako sa amin. Tatawagin ako ng asawa kasi baka magwala daw. So, Aakbayan ko lang yun. Nasasabihan na, Cole, tulog na ta. Bisaya, no? Cole, Tulog na tayo. Sunod din naman, matutulog din siya. Kaya every time na naglalasing yon, palagi ko hinahanap ng asawa. Father, si uncle mo, bantayan mo ha. O sige, no problem. Kaya nung nasa lamo, last moment na kanyang buhay, responsible naman yon, kahit ganun yon, Very responsible, father. Sa so last moment na kanyang buhay, sabi niya sa akin eh, kita mo na yung sa mukha niya, sa mata niya, natatakot. Father, Papa, no? O sa ilukon kaya ako sa ginoo. Ibig sabihin, sabi niya, patatawa rin kaya ako ni Lord. Oo naman. Pero warning ko sa iyo. Sa langit, walang tanduay. Tumawa siya. No? Ay, it's okay. Ganyan. Sa kanya. Patatawa rin ka naman siguro. 
based sa ating pananampalataya, lahat naman tayo nagkakasala, nadadapa. Iba nga lang kaso mo kasi paulit-ulit ka eh. O, tatawaan na kami ganyan. Pero natatakot. Father, paano yung pamilya ko? Ha? Don't worry. Hanggang sa nung malapit ng mamatay. Yun, ganun pala yung feeling nung no? nakikita mo yung tao na paubos na yung hininga. Iba pala yung feeling. Kaya nung yung binulungan ko, Cole, kung gusto mo na magpahinga, magpahinga ka na. Diba? Ganun man yan eh. Eh, nagtatawa lang kami kasi yung narinig pala nung asawa niya yun. Kasi ako sabi ko, Cole, kapag gusto mo na magpahinga, magpahinga ka na. Yung asawa niya naman, pa, laban pa, laban pa. Kaya nagtingin na kami doon sa asawa niya, alam mo talagang gusto din sa buhay. But sometimes, even if you are prepared or not prepared of it, minsan nakakatakot din pala. Marami yan. May isa pang nanay, ako nakausap at the very last moment of her life, ang concern niya yung kanyang anak na nag-aaral pa. Death. End. The gospel that we have read speaks about, speaks about judgment. It is an apocalyptic gospel. Sabi nga ito, nakakatakot. Yung iba, eh, namatay sa takot. Kung titira natin yung ibanghelo ngayon, it is, a, it is an apocalyptic, apocalyptic in nature. But, pero kung titira din po natin, ang ibanghelo din po natin also speaks about hope. Sapagat sa dulo dito sinabi, kapag nakita nyo na ang mga signs na ito, stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. Judgment's day, judgment day, end of times, but in reference to our very own life, we speak about our very own death. Hindi ba? Hindi natin alam kung kailan matatapos ang mundo eh. Matagal pa yan. Minsan nga, baka hindi matapos. Ang, yung buhay natin matatapos na. Kaya tandaan natin na sa panghuli nito sa gospel, it's about hope. That hopefully, when this time will come, at kapag dumating man sa buhay natin na hinihingin, hihingi na ng Diyos ang buhay natin, hinihingi na sa atin, hopefully we could stand erect and raise our heads. E paano nga ba? Sa totoo lang po, sabi na natin, death will come to us. And I'm very sure of that. Judgment day will come. Pero hindi naman kung kailan yan darating. Ang question palagi, e kung handa ka ba? Handa ba tayo sa panahon na yun? Because sa totoo lang, judgment day, end of times, even our very own death, is a moment of victory for those people who are prepared, people who are faithful, people who are loving, people who are hopeful. Para po sa kanila ito. Kaya kapag ikaw po ay nagmamahal, marunong magmahal, at patuloy na nagmamahal, nagbibigay ng pananampalataya, nagbibigay ng pag-asa sa iyong kapwa, then you could stand erect and raise your head. Because this is a moment of victory for you. Sabi nga, each day, each passing hour leads us closer to our graves. That is why make every moment of our life count. Ibig sabihin na sa bawat yugto ng ating buhay, sa araw-araw, at sa bawat paglipas ng oras, ng ating buhay, tayo din po ay papalapit sa ating bukay. Kaya nga namnamin natin ang bawat sandali ng ating buhay. Take the risk of loving. Take the risk of trusting people. Take the risk of hoping. Take the risk of dreaming. After all, lahat naman tayo ay mamamatay. Sa totoo lang po, kung mapansin natin ang misteryo ng buhay, pansinin nyo, that when we were born, people around us are laughing and we are the one crying. And if we live our life to the full, when we love, 
we hope we give faith to people. Hopefully that when we die, we are the one who is smiling and laughing deep inside in our graves. And the people around us are crying. That's the mystery of life. That is why even on the judgment day, kapag tayo po'y marunong magmahal, nagmamahal, umaasa, at patuloy na umaasa, kahit ilang beses na nasaktan, may pananampalataya sa kabutihan ng kapwa, may pananampalataya sa, sa kabutihan ng Diyos sa ating buhay, then judgment day, we will not be afraid of this day for as long as we know that we are faithful, we are loving, we are hopeful. Pagdarating ito, hindi ka matatakot sapagkat alam mo, God will be loving to you. God will forgive you. And God will welcome you. That is why when judgment time will come, stand erect, raise your hands, because your redemption is at hand. Let us all stand. As we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady the Holy Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenges of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work in human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work with human hands that become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings at which your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us an unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and in was justly condemned, in mercy redeem him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, 
Socrates our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So stand at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the, the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the creation of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit, I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus. Because love is the only way to holiness, giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few. For I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet to the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive, forgive us our sins. sins. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles and images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.